So, Creative Bits is here tonight to share a bit about their mission and also to perform a special song co-written this weekend with a veteran they met at the No Barrier Summit. Their mission is to provide veterans an opportunity to use art, music, and creative writing to heal their wounds of war. Here to perform their original song, please welcome to the stage Richard, Dave, and Kelsey. Come on, make some noise for Creative Events! Thank you, brother. Yeah, buddy. Kill it, man. Kill it, girl. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you, Prudential, for bringing us out here. Thank you to No Barriers for hosting us. This has been so amazing. My first experience with No Barriers was last year in New York. Um, we had the opportunity to write with a veteran named Amy Hess and, and tell her story for the first time. So what Creative S does is we bring combat disabled veterans from anywhere in the country. We pay for their flights, their food, their housing, and even their tuition to go to schools like the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, Virginia Commonwealth University, the University of Southern California, how to tell their story through art through a three-week fully accredited program. But our songwriting programs, which has been uh, probably the most the thing that's been the most sought after. We bring combat veterans to Nashville, Tennessee to tell their story about what happened to them in war with pro songwriters. And we just partnered with the Grand Old Opry, so we actually write backstage at the Grand Old Opry. So veterans get to fly into town, they get to meet with me. In Iraq, my Humvee was hit four separate times by IEDs, which led to left traumatic brain injury, and my best friend was shot and killed beside me. So I didn't know what it was like to use art or music to heal. And I just found it randomly, randomly on a path that I didn't. I was trying to study business in college, failed it, didn't know what I needed to do anymore. I got physically sick before I went to class. I didn't know how to survive anymore. And I said, you know what, screw this. I'm going to get an easy degree in art. That's what I thought. I was like, let's just do this. And then later, ends up five years later, I graduate from the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, one of the best art schools in the country, Walt Disney, Georgia O'Keeffe went. And I was writing with number one songwriters about the stories about what happened to me in war. And I said, this needs to be for other veterans who've been through this because they're not going to do what I did. They're not going to come home from war and be like, let's go to art school. It's not going to happen. So let's design programs that do that. So I want to thank you guys so much for just giving back because every time we come to a place, we try to change someone's life through song. So I, instead of bringing the veteran to Nashville, what we did was we brought the pro songwriters to hear so that we could tell someone's story. And I'm actually gonna bring Paul up real quick, who was a veteran that got a right yesterday. Uh, Paul, if you could come up and just share a little bit about your experience, and we're gonna play Paul's song. So my daughter asked me, how come I'm not nervous speaking to everybody here tonight? And I said, because uh, this is a family. It's the No Barriers family. And it, it, you're all my family. If the whole world was like a No Barriers Summit, we'd have a lot less problems. So, <laughs> I, I was asked by a good friend to, to uh, talk with Richard, and in the beginning I was, you know, a little apprehensive. I, I, I didn't think that uh, anything I've done, just because I was in Iraq and, and this and another, was, was worthy of a song, a story. And after talking to him on the phone for about 45 minutes, uh, I realized what they were doing was absolutely amazing. Came out here to meet him. I still had, you know, just a little, still not sure why. And then I sat down with the three of them. Uh, we spent about three and a half hours together. And I feel like they read my heart. They, they, they wrote something that I never would have expected that could be written about me. Um, and I'm just really, really thankful for them and what they do. Um, these non-clinical therapeutic activities that, that are being provided by Richard uh, are, are saving veterans' lives. It, it's, it's organizations like No Barriers Warriors and, and, and Creative Vets are, are, are making a difference. It's tangible. You can see it. You can feel it. And it's just, a, a, it's a humbling, honorable experience to be here. And, and thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy this song. Thank you, Paul. So I'm going to introduce you to Kelsey Kulik and Dave Pittenger, and they had the opportunity to sit down with Paul yesterday and tell his story. So I'm going to let them take it away and then take you into the song. Thank you. Thanks, Richard. How's everybody doing tonight? Are we doing good? So uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for letting us be here tonight and letting, for letting us uh, sing this song for you. And when I first met Paul, 
he just seemed like he was such a happy guy and he had it all together. And I was like, wow, you know, I've, I've written with a lot of creative vets before, but this guy, he seems really happy and, and he just seems like a really nice guy. <clears throat> and then when we got into the room and he started talking about himself and, and talking about all the situations that he's been through, it was just super eye opening. I was like, man, you know, I'm feeling all these all of these things that this this guy is talking about and he really just puts a smile on and you can't see his pain that he's carrying inside of him and so it was really inspiring to write with Paul and uh and get to tell his story so thank you guys so much for letting us do that for you yeah and we've we've both done um several of these events and and I've worked with um a bunch of veterans and and everybody's everybody's got a different story and a different type of hurt going on or or some of them are further into the journey where they're doing okay and and they want something to express hope to uh others who are maybe a little further behind on on their uh journey. So writing with Paul yesterday was just amazing. Uh we learned so much about his life in uh in a short time. It was kind of an onslaught of <laughs> story and information and 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 somehow um you know it, it just comes around to being this three minute little piece of of paul that can can live on in the universe so um hopefully uh it, it helps you buddy and um and we hope you enjoy it this song is called purpose I wear a smile to hide my pain I've been ashamed of feeling shame And if I'm honest, I'm not honest When I'm looking at myself I wish that I could see me Like everybody else just because I'm hurting don't mean I'm not worth it. Took 15 years back home to know I didn't have to walk alone. I'm alive, do I deserve it? Sometimes I don't think that I do, but I must have a purpose have a purpose say goodbye to the world with a bottle because of a blast cause it was so damn hard to leave it all in the past But I'm still here and I'm still damaged I'm just trying to find the reason why I'm still standing Just because I'm hurting don't mean I'm not worth it Took 15 years back home to know I didn't have to walk alone I'm alive, do I deserve it? Sometimes I don't think that I do, but I must have a purpose. Have a purpose. Who knows how far? Just because I'm hurting don't mean I'm not worth it. Took 15 years back home to know I didn't have to walk alone. I'm alive, do I deserve it? Sometimes I don't think that I do, but I must. 
Sometimes I don't think that I do, but I must have a purpose, have a purpose. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. No barriers. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Richard. Wow. Let's give a round of applause for Paul, Richard, Dave, and Kelsey. Let's make some noise. <laughs>